Despite the fact that approximately one in three women will get vaginal thrush in their lifetime, and many will experience recurrent infections, it is still something we rarely talk about. We spoke to an expert, Dr. Chris Beer, about a new study regarding vagina health, and what all women ought to know. Chris Beer told Mama Mia the most telling symptom of thrush or candida is a thick white discharge, with a cottage cheese-like appearance. Other symptoms include, Interestingly, the incidences of thrush have skyrocketed in recent history, with the introduction of things like antibiotics, 30% of women will get thrush because of antibiotic use, the contraceptive pill, chemotherapy and refined sugars. The recent rise in active wear as everyday wear is also thought to be a contributor, as it doesn't allow for necessary ventilation. The same rule applies to non-cotton underwear. So products used on the vulva or in the vagina can also cause thrush, as it disrupts the natural phase of the vagina, and alcohol is also a known trigger. Listen, don't put soaps anywhere near your pink bits. Post continues below. Thrush is more common in women in their 30s and 40s, and pregnant women. Dr. Beer added that a suppressed immune system can sometimes be the cause, especially for recurrent infections, along with being stressed and run down. We've now realized, Dr. Beer told Mama Mia, there's a link between your vaginal health and your gut health. If someone's diet is really high in refined carbohydrates and sugars there is a link there, and it can actually either change the flora of the vagina tract and cause recurrent thrush infections. Ideally, you shouldn't self-diagnose yourself with thrush, especially if you've had thrush in the last six months and treated it successfully you are worried you might have a sexually transmitted disease, there's a smelly discharge or bleeding, or you're under 16 or over 60. In such cases, it's important you see a doctor. The doctor will either have you describe the symptoms, or will take a quick swab and test the cells. 